Scientists for decades thought that depression was genetic and suggested that genes pose major risk of developing depression. For instance, studies have revealed that individuals with ancestors having depression were three times more likely to develop the same condition as compared to individuals with no family history of the disorder. But then, doesn't science also suggest that genes express themselves under certain environmental triggers? Well, as you grow up, you start adapting to your environment and eventually develop traits which you acquire through your surroundings. Also, certain genes in your genetic makeup get altered, amplified or suppressed with the passage of time. For individuals who suffer from depression, the question remains the same. Is depression a result of natural genetic makeup or does nurture contribute to? You asked and Abudo answers. While science is yet to pinpoint the cause of depression, it is most likely the result of both genes and environment. A British research team recently isolated a gene that appears to be prevalent in multiple family members with depression. The chromosome 3P2526 was found in more than 800 families with recurrent depression. Scientists believe that as many as 40% of those with depression can trace it to a genetic link. However, the remaining 60% is the contribution of environmental factors, which means depression is not entirely nature, rather it is nurture too. When a person grows up with someone with depression, they become more susceptible to the disorder. A child who watches a depressed parent or sibling may learn to mimic that person's behavior under certain conditions. A child who sees a parent spend days in bed may not think it unusual. In addition, a range of non-genetic or environmental risk factors have been implicated in depression, including early life adversities, negative life events, low socioeconomic status, severe physical illness. Clearly, neither nature nor nurture alone can explain why an individual would develop depression. Rather, a combination of the two determines how individuals will react to different stressors in life. In fact, several studies have shown that the effects of stressful environment on risk for depression differs by a person's genetic susceptibility to depression. This means those who have more depression risk genes and experience a lot of stressors are more likely to develop depression than those who carry the same risk genes but do not experience any stressors. So Abudo's final word is that depression is both nature and nurture.